mystery pop star. Please reveal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Mae Muller and I am representing the UK in this year's Eurovision! Yeah! It's just 59 days until Eurovision week kicks off in Liverpool. Earlier today, we finally revealed the act and the song that will represent the UK at the contest in May. Coming up, we've got the official music video. <laughs> And I've got a world exclusive interview with the woman who's following in the footsteps of Sam Ryder. In 2022, our very own Spaceman restored Eurovision pride and proved that the UK can be a serious contender in the competition. 12 points! United Kingdom! United Kingdom! United Kingdom! United Kingdom. He won the jury vote and finished a very respectable second. Ukraine! behind Ukrainian winners, Kalush Orchestra. So let's find out about the artist who's hoping for continued success at this year's contest in Liverpool. I love that. I just came to dance. 25 year old singer songwriter Mae Muller was signed at the age of 19. And has already supported Little Mix on tour. And had a platinum selling single in the US. Please welcome me, Muller! With high profile TV performances, including The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Now, May's embarking on her biggest adventure yet. How are you feeling? I'm so excited. How are me you? Me too, yeah. I really am. Let's do it. <laughs> What was your first reaction when you got the call? Did you say yes there and then? Yeah. Straight away? <laughs> Straight away. I don't think it gets much bigger than Eurovision. It's such a part of history, I think, as well, so it's a big deal. How do you feel following in the footsteps of Sam Ryder? I just love Sam. He did the best job, and I feel really honoured that he's passing me yeah. the baton, and I think he really put us in a whole different light, so he's done me a favour anyway. Yeah. I'm like, thank you, Sam. <laughs> but, you know, I want to do it in my own way, but I definitely want to... Carry that on. If I hadn't heard your music before, how do you describe it to me? Empowering, sometimes a bit tongue in cheek, but it always kind of comes back to the same message as just, you know, knowing your worth. I when I listen to music and when I was younger listening to music, that's kind of what I yearned for. So I guess it's just some honest, sometimes a bit sassy mm -hmm. storytelling. May's been writing songs since her teens, but her first brush with stardom was age nine, when she featured in Mika's video for Grace Kelly. So you're the girl in the green dress at I'm the like, start? I'm the girl in the green dress. I still have the green dress. I should have brought it today. Can you remember the words? I want to talk to you. The last time we the talked, Mr. We talk. Is it Mr. Smith? You reduced me to tears. I promise you it won't happen again. That's some, something like that. <laughs> I mean, I could sing the whole thing. It was like my favorite song ever. So that just made it even cooler as a nine year old. So the Mika video gave you your first taste of performing. But when you got signed, you were working in a pub. Yes, working at the pub during the day and then writing in the evening. And through that, I just started to release music. Were you a good barmaid? No, <laughs> <laughs> I was not a good barmaid. I can pull a good pint. I will say that I, you know, I got the technique right, <laughs> but I was kind of rubbish at everything else. <laughs> um, so I probably wasn't wasn't the best. You supported Little Mix on tour in 2019, so a lot of people would have seen you there. What was that like? I went from doing shows of like 300 people to, you know, 20,000. So I kind of had to go out there every night and win over 20,000 people who were probably like, we're here for Little Mix, who are you? But it, was so, <laughs> but it was really, really amazing. And you performed at Liverpool Arena on that tour. I did. And can I just tell you, I'm sure you already know, the Liverpudlians know how to have a good time. They just gave me, like, the best energy. Her next experience in Liverpool is set to be even bigger as she takes to the stage with her pop track, I Wrote a Song. After you go through maybe a breakup, whether it's a relationship or a friendship, you know, when you've been hurt, I think it's really easy to want revenge. And I thought, how can I take something that's a negative feeling and turn it into something positive? And I think we got something really fun and something that you can really sing and dance to out of it. I haven't performed it yet, and I'm just like, <sighs> I'm really excited. Now, if you've not seen Eurovision for years, it's moved on. It's made global superstars like Monoskin 
and every year brings epic performances with out-of-this-world staging and choreography. May, the contest is two months away. How are you getting Eurovision ready? We're working on it every day. Vocal training, choreo, and I know it's Eurovision, so we've got to do it right, we've got to come correct. It's got to be big. It's got to be big. Mate, I'm so excited it's you. I can't wait to see what you do in Liverpool. Thank you. We're behind you all the way. Thank you. Now it's time to introduce the music video, if you would. I can. Hello, I'm Mae Muller, and this is the music video for my track, I Wrote a Song, which is this year's UK entry for Eurovision 2023. Ah! Hope you enjoy it. Instead of... 